What's up, everybody? <laughs> What's up, everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you the craziest fucking story ever. The thing all of you have been dying to fucking hear is the story where the fuck I was for all of this fucking time. I've been gone for three months, but now I'm fucking back. Alright, enough with the fucking cringe. I'm sorry for being so fucking congested. I just fucking woke up, but basically, yeah. So I'm gonna be talking where the fuck I've been in the last three months, like anybody fucking cares. <laughs> but basically, I'm gonna be telling you the whole fucking story about everything associated with Ripleaks, all the fucking drama, literally everything that has been happening in the last six months. So if you're here for fucking drama, please fucking stay. But if you're bored already, you know, at least leave a fucking like and subscribe because I'm trying to reach 10k subscribers by the end of the year. And if we do, I'm gonna buy the best fucking PC in the world, RDX 5090, everything, the best CPU, RAM, fucking motherboard, every fucking thing, the best setup ever seen on YouTube, maybe at least in my country, but like the best setup on YouTube, like, like the best PC ever. So if you wanna leave a like and subscribe, please do it now because you're not gonna have the chance later, so... <laughs> Fucking do it! So let's fucking start with the story. Everything, and I mean literally everything starts off with YouTube. And you're probably wondering why, but let me fucking explain it quickly to you. Because for like three months in a row, I was uploading a video every two to three days. And I had a shit ton of videos. Basically, every video would get like two to three thousand views at a most. And even like today we have that much. But then suddenly, November fucking came. And what fucking happened is, I don't know, a miracle of some sort. The Peterbot video got 146,000 views. That video fucking launched me up in the fucking sky, you know? It was fucking crazy. Like, so many people were joining the server. So many people were interested in the tweaking software. It was fucking crazy. But one thing that you have to know is that with that big of an audience and that big of a hype you will get a lot of problems meaning if you're not ready you cannot just fucking do it you know like it, you cannot handle the hype and the heat that you get for example when you're doing something like that you get a lot of people interested in your service and basically a lot of people start buying you get a lot of customers you get a lot of issues you have issues with the site you have issues with the payment processor because suddenly from going to like a few orders a month you get to like a few hundred you know like that's fucking insane i mean it stopped but it's like i don't know how to say it. it's different it's a different feeling than you get every day and basically i don't remember a time in those months that like i didn't like i wasn't on the phone 24 7 like all like all the times i went out i was on the phone 90 percent of the fucking time just controlling everything you know you have to fucking send a new key you have to fucking give people this that you have to reply to tickets there were like hundreds of tickets per fucking day and the thing is that like it lasted for a short amount of time it like was a month you know compared to other tweaking services it's like nothing but it was a fucking lot and one of the things that i had to do is basically set up a web store that was good and that would do everything for me basically automation and have a payment processor that would give even better service for all the customers i literally during all that hype period whatever i had stripe okay i just like applied for stripe that's a payment service whatever they just accept your money and give it to your bank account and the thing is there is like a standard procedure they verify the fucking shit of you they have that big of a fucking verification thing you know they keep every fucking information from you for example your name last name date of birth address id passport registration of business screenshot of my fucking dick and you know all of that is a fucking procedure for some reason it's so stupid they have to verify their people their merchants whatever and one stupid thing is that a lot of the orders i had before were like totally normal they would go through but suddenly they're suspicious for stripe i don't know what the fuck they had some fucking bot filter or whatever when it's like legitimate people fucking buying and they cannot buy so i had a shit ton of issues from the start but you know you have to do it because like other payment services put limits freeze your money whatever this was actually pretty good a couple of months go by okay january passes february you know and like the, the, the greatest thing ever happened literally the website that i had the thing that i was hosting my platform on called selix it got fucking raided by the fbi and for some reason all of the websites closed i mean of course it's not like for some reason but it's like it's fucking stupid how that happened because like they were hosting like some payment thing because they had like an option to have a payment service or a website 
And like they were providing payments, like in crypto or whatever, for some other website. And because of that, all other websites fucking done. That website was doing some legal shit, I don't know. And everything got killed. And you're probably wondering, like, what the fuck is this, dude? What's up with the story? You see, due to this platform getting fucking banned and my whole Stripe account associated with the fucking platform, because you have to connect it, my Stripe account got fucking banned! I I was done, dude. Like, I was fucking done. I'm, I'm like, what the actual fuck is happening? Why is my Stripe account? I'm getting banned because like the craziest thing about stripe is that they want everything and they freeze your money and all payments in between verifications for example everything is good for a week you just register your account normally then they freeze everything don't they don't provide any payments or anything for you until you verify your id okay verify id sure no you have to verify your address you have to fucking find a bill electricity or whatever okay sure here you go then they want your business registration like what the actual fuck dude like do you want my money or not like i will go to other services but sadly stripe is the number one everyone knows it everyone trusts it and they provide the best service kind of you know like it's fucked for merchants but it's the best for customers now because i didn't know what the fuck happened uh what i did is i just opened reddit and there i basically got my answer it wasn't only me everybody that had ever any stripe account connected to Celix, they got it banned and for no fucking reason i tried contacting support nothing and to this day i have 200 euros stuck in that stripe account which i would never be able to get back but you don't know, fuck all of that why well, wasn't a recording for so long like that was like the first initial issues i got even more afterwards so basically you know i had everything set up you know youtube it's like it was all good you know the video was going up the peter bot one and the moment i got monetized like literally the day i got monetized literally all of my fucking videos died no views at all no nothing even the videos that i would upload later they would get like 600 views a thousand views like barely hitting a thousand views and i'm like fuck this shit dude i don't want to do this anymore and i fucking stopped uploading and basically i'm gonna admit it most of the problems were in my head because i was used to getting so many people joining my server so many subscribers so many views so many orders and then everything just stopped and i fucking stopped with it you know i was demotivated if you can fucking say and everything else just fucking caught up like generally my life school every fucking obstacle was there and i couldn't really make a fucking video but the absolutely weirdest thing ever is this i left youtube like barely any videos and then suddenly this paid sponsorship this paid tutorial <laughs> i never expected this video to break even a thousand views because like in the first like month two three like up until january it had like hadn't even gotten over 5k views 3k views like even in the biggest hype sudden suddenly <laughs> 10k 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 98. Now it's probably at 99. I don't even know. I haven't even checked. It's close to hitting 100. That's gonna be in like two, three days for sure. How come a fucking tutorial that I made seven months ago, it's suddenly being so fucking popular and my other videos, which are actually good, they aren't. What the fuck do you mean? Like my actual tutorials that I like would get something out of. I don't know what the fuck to say. It's, it's, it's fucking stupid, you know? But anyways, all of that ended, you know? I stopped making videos for like three and then my discord discord keep in mind discord sir suddenly gone you know the gone for some reason invites stopped i got a violation on my account it said that i was like something with fraud and i'm like what the fuck like this server hasn't been active in like four or five months like i haven't been doing anything you know why wasn't it fraud like over a year ago half a year ago you know like in the peak how come it wasn't fraud then and suddenly now fraud and turns out you cannot name a channel reviews or free tweaks reviews or anything like that it totally got renamed even the showcases for my paid utilities got fucking like all the channels deleted and i'm like thinking what is the point of having a discord when you cannot even show what you're selling what you're doing you know how come others can do it but i cannot you know like that's the stupidest thing ever and i'm like dude fuck this shit i deleted all the channels and i started over again you know 15 point something thousand members we lost like 500 you know in between all of these bullshit on like in between all of this depression you know like me stopping making videos in between me uh having exams having these problems with my stripe account with my website with everything there had been ever i was actually doing something all this whole time like you know i i wasn't staying down i wasn't just relaxing you know i was working on one particular thing that all of you have been waiting for since december rip tweaks v4 and i know this might 
might be fucking weird to you or whatever surreal for those who know what I'm talking about. That is basically the update I promised since fucking December. Let me just quickly explain it to you, okay? November, that's when I released the Peterbot video. December, I couldn't fucking lift my head up from so much work. We were focused on like tackling tickets, fixing fucking payment issues, doing this, doing that, all to just make it work. And I didn't really develop Riptix V4 that much. And then like when you had like the free time, I was thinking like, oh, we could do this, we could do that. We could add this idea, that idea. And like, I'm thinking maybe make it much better, polish it totally, make it perfect and eventually release it, you know? And that's the approach I'm going to be going for. I think that is the best and it's probably even better for me to actually show you what we've been working on for the last couple of months and especially this month. So ladies and gentlemen, the thing that you've all been fucking waiting for, rip tweaks v4 all right so let me fucking show you all the features that we have well actually not all i'm gonna show you a teaser this is not a trailer this is not the full thing so basically we have still a few things to go but this is about the idea of what we're gonna be doing so take a look please and comment down below what you like what you don't we're gonna fucking adjust it because we're still in a development stage technically but yeah let's fucking go all right so firstly we have an updated hardware specs page whatever you can see every single thing here it's a live updated cpu gpu ram usage temp cpu gpu whatever it's really fucking cool in expert mode we have easy and expert mode as you can see basically we have os name date versions everything cpu we have like literally everything you want to see clock current factor load power temperature voltage like everything you you want to fucking see you want to know your gpu temperature here it is the hotspot here it is you want to see your fucking ram and like fucking data load memory whatever want to see how hot your ssd is sure we could see 50 degrees you should fucking try cooling it down down, but that's what I want to say. Basically, you can see your motherboard's version, serial number, BIOS version, BIOS release date. You, I mean, literally everything. We can go maybe set a custom amount of RAM. We could set like 39 gives of RAM, apply it. You know, we don't fucking give a fuck. Maybe we can throw out the trash, just put in recycle bin, select it here, start, and bam, you're fucking gone. Then maybe we can install some apps, for example, Firefox, because like, why not? Well, actually, Firefox, which is uh, now Firefox, which is a popular open source web browser, whatever, which we could see the version and the fucking folders. Let's just fucking uninstall it, you know, because it's a useless app anyway. In the meantime, we can check for updates, you know, like, let's see what's new. For example, OBS is an updated Python, you know, like, we could update literally every, see, like, everything is really fucking simple we could maybe visit the features to see what features we have i don't know maybe like turn off explorer to save some ram or maybe actually save ram the good way you know like we could go in performance and literally just clear the fucking ram chug it down by four gigs it's fucking simple or maybe we can fucking turn off epic games launcher you know fucking launch it and it's not really launching anymore you know then maybe we could go and install a fucking version of windows for example i'm gonna install it on my usb it's pretty fucking simple you know it's a pretty seamless process when you're using rip tweaks v4 downloading the iso everything is fucking perfect same for maybe windows 11 we could select any partition format whatever pretty fucking simple let's just move on to other features something more interesting you know let's go over to i don't know crosshairs let's make a custom crosshair called dick you know and let's fucking i don't know have it be yellow or green whatever uh let's make it a bit taller you know let's make a center dot that would black a bit bigger you know let's lower the opacity let's see how dick looks like wow pretty fucking stupid let's put a square and see how everything looks oh pretty fucking interesting the square looks like a square let's make it blue and let's just see how it looks like pretty fucking cool let's make the size a bit bigger you know we have a fucking square because why not maybe we could put in a triangle as well you could just edit it to be whatever you fucking want you could edit a fucking outline to make it black for example make it thick and it just voila it, it looks fucking great you know fabulous or maybe you want to put the rip tweaks logo as a crosshair who the fuck knows rip tweaks let's just see rip tweaks let's create it let's see and bam really fucking cool you know let's just make it a bit more wider and a bit taller you know like let's just see how it looks like holy fucking shit it's cursed maybe making it a bit taller and lowering the transparency might do something you know like let's just see holy fucking shit this cherry is fuck this this like genuinely this this is what haunts you in your dreams this is what will haunt you if you don't leave a like and subscribe and get me to 10k by the end of the year this is what's gonna haunt you every fucking night if you don't buy riptix so riptix.com fucking buy it. let's go over for another feature maybe fps counter you know like let's just turn it on let's see what we could count maybe on the other the other side it's better you could see it better like this maybe like let's put a more options fps min max low frame time whatever let's just see how it looks like oh it looks pretty fucking well you know pretty cool if you're asking me maybe we could try and put another 
couple of things cpu temperature cpu power gpu voltage fan speed ram utilization disk write speed and maybe i don't know one percent lows make it fuck blue you know let's make it medium size let's see how it looks like okay it looks like pretty fucking good you know i mean it's a bit blending due to the background but let's just change it to i don't know purple let's see how that would look like it looks pretty fucking fabulous if you're asking me look at how everything looks fucking perfectly guys this is great maybe i can show you one more thing maybe like tutorials i don't know how to apply a tweak maybe how to fucking create a backup or something like that you know like you could see every like everything is pretty fucking simple you know you're using rip tweaks anyway but yeah i think that's too much let me just like close everything out and tell you to leave a fucking like and subscribe and just to tell you i'm thankful that you watched this video please fucking leave a like subscribe and i will see you the next one goodbye